Hey everybody, it's Chris and Stephanie and welcome to our, our story. story. Today we're going to be bringing you a special episode of a project we are pretty much um, finishing up right now, right? Yeah, um, we've been talking a lot about a project that we've been currently working on so we kind of wanted to bring you guys in and give you a snapshot of where we are right now. Uh, this is one of my favorite things to do because I can remember back to the time when I found a need to do this. You see, when I first started my business, um, I didn't have the vision necessary to take it to where I wanted it to go. So when I first started, I was super excited about what I was doing. I wanted to tell everybody. So one of my buddies was like, yo, you're working on something? Let me go out there with you so I can kind of see what you guys are doing. And when I got out there, he was able to see things that I couldn't see. See, the property was kind of shaped like an hourglass figure. On the front product, like it was about a quarter of an acre where the house was. But then on the back part of the hourglass, it was undeveloped land. It kind of backed up to some undeveloped lands of acres of acres of undeveloped land. It had a little creek that divided the two areas. And I was thinking like, man, this is going to be a headache. Mm -hmm. I got to clean the trash out of the creek. I got to worry about wild animals back there. Yeah. But when he got there, he was like, no, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. God, I jumped down there myself and I'll pull that trash out of there. I'll build a little cast iron bridge over mm -hmm. there that allows you to have access to that back area of land. And then you got all that undeveloped land back there that you can kind of traverse. Mm -hmm. A buyer would love to have this. Right. And immediately I had an aha moment. I was like, wow. What an amazing vision. So I kind of reassessed myself and like, hey, from now on, when I'm going to when I walk into a potential project, I'm not going to walk in there looking at it about looking at it about where it is right now. Right. But where it can be. Right. So that's what we want you guys to do is to look at the before pictures and see if you can kind of spot the potential in the property. And then we'll show you how it actually ended up. And kind of see if they would have the nerve, right, to take on that project. Because I remember when we first started, I didn't have the vision. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, you know, Krishan could look at something and really kind of see where it could go. But, you know, you guys take a look and see if you have the nerve to actually take on a project like this. I think that's very good wording because you will see <laughs> that some of the phone calls we received about this project yes. were kind of, uh, they were gut checks. Yes. So follow along. Here we go. All right, guys. So this is what the house looked like originally. Now, we originally bought the house as a rental and we rented it out for about two years two, yeah, two years and yeah. we had some success with it so a lot of the money we initially invested into it we got back in rental money but it's a good example of how neighborhoods change yes and situations change right as we stated in, in one of the previous videos we bought our first property with a va loan and we wanted to use this house to pay that loan off that sounds good so now we want to show them what it looks like now after the renovations so after all the heartache <laughs> all of the tragedies that were associated with this property yes this is what it looks like so now. it looks like we got some of the shutters painted and fixed and right and, fixed. and we painted um would like the stoop is what you call mm -hmm. it there and then the awning yeah, we replaced the dated awning and we added a little bit of curve appeal with the colored um wood mulch right there okay and so that's a little bit of landscaping that was done there in the front too gotcha. so it looks it looks a lot better yeah, than we, the original we did enough, but we didn't want to do so much that we outpriced the neighborhood. All right, so now we're going to show them what it looked like on the inside when we got in there after the tenant. Yeah, so unfortunately, the first thing that happened to this house was a tree fell on it. <laughs> so it kind of knocked in some of the roof, caused a little bit of water damage, so we had to go in there and have this repaired. But it looks like the whole ceiling had come down. Yeah, because when we got in there, it, we did. We, we noticed that the tree, all of the tree punched a little hole in the roof. Yeah. When it came through, it knocked down the complete the complete ceiling. So, to the untrained eyes, that looked like a lot of work. Yeah. But, yeah, it didn't. Okay. And so, what's this? This is just here this now. is the aftermath on the ground. This all the sealing materials that came down, and you know, this is shortly into us picking up a little bit. But this is the water damage and all the debris from the ceiling. So is and also is this stuff like that? Maybe the tenant left too that we yeah, had to clean up as well. Yeah, this is some of the tenant stuff that they left as well. And is you that know, an air duct there? That's was, the air duct that came down. From so we had to replace all of that. Then. Replace all of that. Okay. Yeah. Um, and. Um, so all, were the floors damaged at that point or? The floors were damaged. We ended up having to replace those floors. Okay. And so this is what it looks like this now. This is what it looks like now. This <laughs> it's is how, night and day. This is how it looks when we went in and we took everything out. But it just goes to show how, no matter how bad that picture was previously. Yeah. If you have vision, you can kind of take it to a place where. But you've you got you, to have the vision. Yeah, you couldn't even you wouldn't even <laughs> recognize that place. If you put these two pictures next, no. next to each other and you say, hey, this is the same place. 
I wouldn't believe it. People wouldn't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. If if you have the vision, this is this is what can happen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go back now. So this is what the floors look like after you took up all the garbage in the floors. Yeah, right? Unfortunately, this is a little later. This is after the, after the pandemic happened and the tenant was forced to leave. They they didn't really take really good care of the property, so we kind of had to go back in, do a complete gut job of the property and make some major renovations. Now, but what type of floors were down before? It was it was carpeting before, but as you'll okay. see in one of the upcoming pictures, the carpet after the tenant could not be salvaged, so we wanted to take that out, take that out and replace it with something that would be a little more appealing to the Okay, uh, that makes sense. And look, we got another picture yeah, here. That was the now. Is this board. a hole in the wall? Yeah, and that hole in the wall is it, it's a bigger story to that because mm -hmm. the hole in the wall was actually a blessing in disguise. Why would you say that? We didn't know that there was no insulation behind the drywall. Oh, no so, insulation. Yeah. So when we saw That's it, it was like, oh my goodness, we snatched we snatched all the drywall out. Yeah. We, we, we put new, and you can even see that they, we had made repairs. We had hired a contractor to make repairs earlier. He didn't tell us, see, but we. Oh, I we're see. We're able to get all that all the drywall snatched back down and all the insulation up. So let's see what it looks like now. That same room. This is that same room. I can hardly believe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, That's you, insane. Yeah. We just hired some quality, a quality contractor this time that was able to come in, take out the, take off the drywall, put the insulation up, texture the wall, and get it to a place to where it was actually appealing to the eye as well as comfortable to live in. I mean, it looks completely different. It looks like it's just, it looks like we're in a different place yeah, altogether. All, all about that vision. Now, what is this? Now, that is the lead the toilet. <laughs> oh I would God. tell you, toilets <laughs> and bathroom floors have been the vein of my existence. That's in, that looks so gross. Yeah, I, I can't even tell you how many times I've had to go into a property and replace the floor. I don't know because it was the, it was the toilet the steam, that was leaking. The steam from the shower. The steam from the shower or the bathtub leaking, but it, it, I go into every house assuming that I will have to replace the stuff. Now this bathroom. cabinet that was all torn up, yeah, we, and so yeah, this everything was damaged. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see what it looks like now. Okay, there it is, yep. brand new. Yep, it looks brand new. Absolutely, that's insane. Look at that. Yep. I mean, it doesn't even look like anything had happened. Yeah, the, the toilet is new. It's a more expensive toilet because this is a World War II era house, mm -hmm. so we had to spend a little bit more to find a toilet that fixed. Okay. Uh, that's one thing I want to emphasize. You have to be extremely careful how much money you put into your project because you can end up putting so much in that you won't get it back at the sale. And that's a new cabinet, right? Yeah, brand new cabinet, brand new vanity. Okay, what are we looking at here? Unfortunately, we had the, <laughs> this is when the tree fell to the roof. Okay, so it fell no, no, in no, on the No, no, this is not the tree, I apologize. This okay. is when, after we did some renovations, someone came in and stole All right. the HVAC and the water heater. Right. So that those two things alone is what? Is it over ten grand or so? Yeah, it was. It was. It was about over about ten to thirteen grand. Just replacing everything that came. Replacing and, everything. And that was before you went in and painted and did all of yeah, that. This is before that. Yeah. That's crazy. What does it look like now? Let's see. So now this is where it is now. After that's crazy. After a tree falling <laughs> on it, after vandalism. I must really say my, my dad and this company, Joy, did an amazing job. New coming countertops. In, coming in and salvaging all this. And yeah. so it's new countertops, no, drawers the, were new the too. New drawers, new face fissures, and a new um a new vanity. Nice. Okay, so is this the final walkthrough here? Yeah, this is the final walkthrough. This is where it is right now. So this is the living room area, so mm -hmm. like a little closet there and No, um, that's the bedroom and okay. that's, that's the second bedroom. Okay, good deal. So what would you say your advice is? What did you learn from this situation as far as the inside? Because I think we're going to the outside later so on. So on the inside, I will say make sure that you have your bottom line well defined. Make okay. sure that you have, make sure you hire good contractors. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you have somebody on site that knows what they're doing because it is really easy to get off track and really easy to spend so much money that you won't get it back at the sale. Well, I think it looks great. Now let's go on the outside and see what the outside looked like. Um, before we started. Yeah, this okay. is the tree that fell This looks house. like a tragedy. Yes, it was a definitely a gut punch when I got the call saying, hey, a tree fell in the house. And unfortunately, when I called the insurance company, they told me, hey, did you send a certified letter to your neighbor saying that he had a tree that was threatening your house? And of course I didn't. No. So they told me it was an act of God and they could do nothing for me. So I ended up walking over to the neighbors, coming up with an agreement that they would remove, the, we, were, we would both remove the tree and 
Make your prayer stop. And what makes it difficult is we don't live in the same state, nor do we live in the same city, nor do we live on the side of the United States where our rental properties are on. Mm -hmm. So that makes it even difficult because how would we know? Yeah, we're we're 100% at the mercy of the property manager, right. of the contractor. Mm -hmm. So we just don't we don't we don't we don't really know what 100 what's going on with the house now we get multiple bids so we can be informed as far as how much it'll cost right but we rely heavily on the kindness of others and the, their quality of work i mean how how much more difficult is that when you don't live um in a place where your rental properties are i mean you're trusting that somebody could come in and and uh, just really t take on uh, these things and get these things done. Is that tough to it's, really trust? It's tough, these? but that goes back to having a relationship with the people who are doing the work. Like I said, my father has been running his company for years, so I trust him to go in there and say, hey, this is what needs to be done, and they can be done. So now we want to see what the backyard looks like now, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Okay, here we go. And this is the backyard. And all of this, what we're seeing right now is where all those limbs and all those trees were, were at. And there's nothing there now. We got it all cleaned up, right? All cleaned up, ready to go. Okay. Still got a little bit more to do back there. Put the gate on it, put the fence on, put the gate on the fence, but that's okay. it. All right. So tell me, what did the contractors do here? The contractors completely removed the tree. They knocked down the remainder of the shed. They hauled it all the way. They put this side of the fence back up. They painted the exterior. They patched the siding. They repaired the roof. They cross the fence, cut down the, the neighbor's tree <laughs> and put the fence back up. So okay. they did an amazing job out here. We still got Alexa, we still got a little work to do out there. I'm gonna zip tie this yeah. thing here to the back. Yeah. and uh, But overall, it looks like a night and day project. Mm -hmm. It looks like, you know, we had the horror story of coming in after this tenant and just saw how everything was trashed and when they stole the stuff out of there and now look at it. Gosh. It looks completely different. Yeah, it looks 100% different. It's all about having that vision. Oh yeah. Well, um, I'm I'm satisfied. Are you satisfied with the outcome? Absolutely. There? I think it's ready to go. Okay, we're back after that video that we just saw. That's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, it's quite a journey. <laughs> yes, it has been. So we just kind of want to talk a little bit about the costs associated with it, the timeline, and just a few other things, right? Yeah. So it took us approximately four months from the time the tenant had to leave due to the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, to getting it where it is right now. Right. So unfortunately it would have took us a lot shorter if we hadn't had the HVAC unit in the right. hot water heat stolen audit. That would have probably saved us about five grand. Yeah, so. that'd be nice. Um, But in the long run, it only costs us about 10 grand to get it back to where it needed to be to get it back on the market. Mm -hmm. And when all the renovations were said and done, we had a real estate agent come in, they validate what, validated what we thought and we had enough money left in the project to where we would accomplish our goal, which was to pay off the debt from the VA loan and now operate debt free. And we also had other, so it was at 10 and then other um, costs associated as well with that. So it's definitely been a journey. Um, it didn't feel like four months. It felt like it was a little bit shorter. So when we actually like tallied up the dates and I was like, oh my gosh, this has been, you know, it's been four months on this one project. So yeah. I'm just glad we're done. Yeah. <laughs> and it goes back to what we said in the beginning. Yeah. It's all about the vision. Yeah. You know, we could have gone in there and said, hey, listen, this is, this is gone. Yeah, I get a, yeah. I get a phone call, a letter in the mail daily. Like, yes. hey, do you want to sell your property? Sell your I can property. like, yes. Yeah. Take this headache off my hand. Yeah. I am through. Right. So, but we, we were able to have the vision and the patience yeah. to come in and say, no, we're going to go ahead and use this as an opportunity. So we made it into a stepping stone as opposed to a stumbling block. And not just patience. We actually gain something from these experiences, right? So we put new skills in our toolbox, right? Absolutely. When you say? Absolutely. And that's a great point yeah. because I feel like the profit that you make off of a project isn't just monetary. Oh, yeah. You make connections. Yes. You gain experiences. Mm -hmm. And sometimes those two can be far more important, yes. far more valuable yes. than the monetary benefits. Absolutely. So um, I think that's a pretty um, awesome video mm -hmm. and it's definitely a really good experience, I think, for the both of us. And then as well as individually, I think we learn things individually as well. So we want to thank you so much for uh, following us on our, continuing to follow us on our journey, but then specifically following us on this particular project. Um, and we just appreciate you so much for supporting our channel and what we do. And always remember, do something nice for someone today and you can do it. And remember... We're just ordinary people trying to do, do extraordinary, extraordinary things. things.